I'm Leslie Barra. I'm Valeria Riscone. I'm Shay Abaptain. I'm Kingsley. I'm Alex Jean. I'm JR Dodge. And I'm Kevin Dunst. We're Team 21053, Instrument Cryocooler Vibration Mitigation, with our sponsor being the U of A Large Binocular Telescope Observatory and our mentor being Doug May. Just a little bit of background. The U of A Large Binocular Telescope Observatory's Lucy Spectrographs are infrared, multi-mode imaging instruments that must operate at cryogenic temperatures. To reach these temperatures, the Lucy Spectrographs utilize cryocoolers that produce vibration disturbances causing degraded performance of the telescope's sensitive optical instruments. These cryocoolers are mounted uh, with a vibration mitigation system that partially reduces the impact of the frequencies produced by the cryocoolers. This system is a passive spring vibration isolation system that is composed of a spring arrangement that suspends the cryocooler, which is partially in a vacuum environment. The LBTO was looking for an accurate and functioning prototype of the cryocooler vibration mitigation system, or VMS, that would allow for further design analyses for future improvements to the system. The VMS project is a prototype of the LBTO's existing cryocooler vibration system with the purpose of recreating the vibration spectrum of the existing system. The VMS prototype utilizes a cryocooler, pre-designed parts, custom-designed artificial loading and mounting parts, as well as previously purchased components provided by the LBTO. This prototype will serve as an analog to the current system for further research and development. The system requirements were divided into five categories, performance, measurements, parts, cost, and other. The performance requirements include spectrum accuracy, spectrum recreation, and artificial loading. The measurements requirements include size, transportability, and mounting size. The parts requirements include previously purchased parts and cryocooler dismantling. The cost requirements include the budget. And the other requirements include the component design drawings and the data output and storage. The requirements driving the design were spectrum accuracy, spectrum recreation, artificial loading, mounting size, previously purchased parts, and component design drawings. In designing our system, we aim to not only meet our functional requirements, but to efficiently utilize readily available material. To accomplish this, we designed our VMS prototype to accommodate the size difference between the RDK 400B cryocooler used in the Lucy instrument and the RDK 408A2 cryocooler provided. This allowed us to utilize the pre-designed parts of the existing system with adjustments as needed. An optical breadboard, as well as an active vibration control table were also provided for added vibration isolation from environmental noise. To recreate the vibration spectrum as close as possible, the same springs utilized in the existing Lucy system were also provided. To turn our design into reality, SOLIDWORKS was used to create comprehensive models from the provided pre-existing manufacturer drawings and tailored to our design. Minimal changes were made, such as, Elongating the support posts, since the RDK 408A2 cryocooler is longer than the cryocooler in the existing system. Adding in extra screw holes to facilitate the connection of vibration measuring equipment, and adding in blind holes where needed in order to avoid any interference between parts. Critical to the operation of the VMS is the artificial loading system. This system compensates for the force created by the change in the environmental pressure caused by the vacuum portion of the Lucy instrument on the LBT. The theoretical and measured force were calculated by determining the pressures in the system at the LBT and using the dimensions of the springs and Hooke's law. After researching multiple solutions for how to directly apply a force to the end of the cryocooler, we settled on two options. The first one, using a winch, and the second, using a turnbuckle and draw bar spring. Initially, we were drawn to the winch due to it utilizing a crank and gears, facilitating the action of applying the load to the system. However, we quickly realized that this method would make it difficult to accurately set the loading force since the jumps between cranks might have been too large and result in low tolerance when loading. Our final design is based on the turnbuckle and draw bar spring, which allows ease of adjusting the force applied by the artificial load. This method consists of multiple adjustable components, such as a telescopic angle bracket, 
and the turnbuckle. An essential part of the VMS is the breadboard mount. This was designed to support the weight of the cryocooler, springs, and housing system. Our initial design involved thick aluminum plates along the back and sidewalls of the system. However, in order to minimize costs, our final design was modified to a thinner material and added a bottom plate for easier mounting. This also provided stability and weight distribution on the breadboard and made it simpler to integrate the artificial loading system. We use the Fluke A10 vibration testing equipment and its software to measure and analyze the vibration spectra of the VMS. This device was provided and is often used for vibration analysis on a number of LBT equipment. It is a commercial product whose embedded software measures and calculates the fast Fourier transform of a source using a triaxial accelerometer. Output data from the Fluke is extracted manually to an Excel file and imported into MATLAB for analysis to validate closeness between spectras. This includes modeling the vibration spectrum of the Lucy system using pre-existing MATLAB modeling done by the pilot group contracted by LBTO. The significant peaks of the VMS spectra are compared with the modeled representative vibration spectra. This approximation is sufficient for the functionality requirement of the VMS. The performance requirements were verified comparing the vibration spectrums of the prototype with the representative spectrum of the Lucy cryocooler and using a feeler gauge to verify the applied load to the system. The measurement requirements were verified using a tape measure and showing the prototype could be transported and disassembled easily. The parts, costs, and other requirements were verified by examining parts and budget lists, drawings, and the dismounting process of the prototype. There were setbacks based on COVID that delayed machine shop orders and stalled the assembly and testing process. These delays resulted in workload redistribution to a couple machine shops in order to meet target dates. Initial performance testing shows that the artificial loading and spectrum recreation requirements of 300 to 365 pounds and 20 to 80 hertz frequency range respectively can be met. However, ATP testing is still ongoing. We would like to thank the LBTO team of Peter Gray and Juan Pablo Haddad for their constant support of us. Additionally, we'd like to thank our mentor, Doug May, for always being attentive and available throughout this process, as well as the senior design staff for providing the necessary resources to complete this project.